The Mabara Twin Circuit is a very tight track in the Chiba Prefecture, which is very popular for drift events. At a judge drift meeting, points are awarded for style, speed and how long you can keep the car sideways. Ideally, you should keep the car sideways permanently, linking the corners together in one long drift. It's a bit of a strange sport really, but it's very popular in Japan. This meeting had 25 cars drifting in two groups, often very close together. There are a couple of flag marshals, but mostly it's up to the drivers to look out for each other. It was a surprise to see this GTR in one of the drift groups. The paint is a combination of Missouri colour flip and big coloured metallic flakes. Set up for rear wheel drive only, it uses the original RB26 with some bolt on upgrades like the big trust intercooler. His buddy is driving what's known as a SIL80. This is a 180SX with a Sylvia nose. The colour is another custom mix with big glitter flakes. It has a Power Enterprise turbo kit and many other bolt-on mods. Inside there's a 7 point roll cage and various other braces to help chassis rigidity. Unfortunately, they don't stop the car spinning. The GTR driver shows more control despite the extra weight of the skyline. This R32 is a four-door GTST using a highly modified RB20 engine. The HKS turbo is mounted on a wrapped stainless manifold while the bottom end has been stroked to 2.3 litres. This Sylvia is more traditional, using only bolt-on mods to the SR20 and an exhaust that goes sideways like the car. This gold FC RX-7 is worth a closer look. It uses a large truss T7829D turbo and truss intercooler setup with neat polished pipework. The clean bodywork also suggests the driver is confident about not crashing.
This white FC-RX7 also has a large HKS turbo kit, but the engine bay is not so pretty. Zip ties are regularly used to repair smashed spoilers. This is a fake S15 nose fitted to an older 180SX. These front end swaps usually come about after a major crash. Sooner or later, a tyre has to let go. 